What is everybody? What is everybody? It's your girl, Money Two Times, up in here, and we are back with the Midnight Hour with your girl, Money Two Times here. And honestly, it's been a minute since I last spoke to you all on this podcast. <laughs> It's been a minute. It's been a, my God, a year. My my universe, my fault. I, I'm sorry. My stars, a year since we last seen each other. So I apologize for my hiatus. I've just been so busy with school, life, and adjusting new beginnings. Like, for example, like before we even get started with the topic, I want to just update y'all on what I've been up to since my, our last episode here. Um, right now, I'm 21 years old. I'm still in school. Uh, I've been involved with a lot of things at my school to the point that I actually finally managed to take, got some time to actually you know, record, record this episode with you all. What actually made me decide to come back on the midnight hour, I have to shout out my friend, uh, CJ, Christopher the Prophet. Follow him on Instagram at Christopher the Prophet. Uh, go to his podcast. His podcast name is Jordan's Podcast. It's on his YouTube. Uh, if I put this on YouTube, I'll link it below so you can check out his podcast it's really good i actually recorded an episode with him recently it'll drop next week uh chris actually you know like for me just sitting here and when he invited me on that episode and what we you know we just talked about like actually it was just like uh, some breakfast club type shit uh and it actually you know made me like made me happy to record a podcast again it actually made me feel better and that's in that moment you know after you know we shot that shot that's what made me decide I should go back to doing a podcast you know actually later on that night I was going to do a podcast but unfortunately I wound up experiencing the topic we're talking about today in this in this podcast and we're going to talk about anxiety. Anxiety. Uh, the mental health issue, diagnosis, or a part of that mental health category. So one thing that a lot of us or certain of us suffer, whether if you are diagnosed or undiagnosed, a lot of us go through anxiety every time. Whether you suffer from anxiety every day, like have just an attack every day, once in a blue moon, something just happened out of nowhere, or you're probably a new person who just experienced your first anxiety and you're probably wondering, why the hell am I having an anxiety right now? Like, what is wrong with me? I don't understand this, this thing I'm going through. Well, let me just tell you this. I was just like you. I mean, I, I, I'm still am, you know, the same person. Still suffering with anxiety. But for me, in my opinion, I don't want to get medicated. Like, I refuse to have doctors prescribe me drugs to make sure that my anxiety is, is better. I have alternative ways to reduce my anxiety. But I'm not going to reveal it on here. But for most people uh, who takes uh, prescriptions and drugs to get it, I hope it's making you, you know, feel better. Um, and if it's doing good for you, good like kudos to you. If it's not doing good for you, but um, you have to take it. I mean, I wish you the best. I wish you the best. I, you know, really sorry that you feel uncomfortable enough to have to take prescriptions just so it can calm your anxiety. You know, again, if you're ever thinking to yourself, why me? 
why do I have anxiety? A friend once told me this. You didn't, no one, act, nobody acts to have an anxiety. Unfortunately, it happens. And it's something that we really can't avoid. And and I mean by that, it's like some of the some of us unlucky few or unlucky people in the world, especially those who are listening to this podcast, suffer from anxiety, whether it's severe, mild, or early fresh beginnings of anxiety. And some of y'all probably wonder, as I said again, why do I have anxiety? Or how did this happen? The question is, the answer to that is, we don't know. We don't know how you got anxiety out of nowhere. Like, we don't know. It just happens. But according to doctors, research, most people experience anxiety due to stress, PTSD, something that triggers them, etc. For me, when I first experienced my anxiety, I experienced my first anxiety while I was suspended from high school due to me getting to fight my ex-girlfriend. Although I wasn't like stressed out or anything, it just happened out of nowhere. Cause I think I was stressed out the fact that me and this me and this girl, person did fall. And maybe just like some other things, but I didn't understand at first. I'm like, what what's going on? Like the feeling of me 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 being not able to breathe and having this somewhat of a numb feeling. You just be like, what the fuck? Like, where is this feeling coming from? And why and how I have this feeling? Still don't understand. I get it. (laughs) Then to this day, I still suffer it. But... It's not as bad as how it used to be when I was in uh, high school. But unfortunately, during earlier weeks, like recently, I did suffer a really, really bad anxiety attack to the point that I couldn't even make it down the stairs or had to pass pass out multiple times. It's to the point that in my perspective, like my system symptoms, I couldn't even remember what happened. My friend, I'm not gonna name my friend's name, but if you listen to this kid, I owe you my life and I really appreciate you being there for me. But even if I do see you in person, kid, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you this myself. Like I already told you this, but I, I didn't tell you that I, I owe you my life because if, if you if it wasn't for you, who knows what it would have happened to me. Um, but I owe this kid my life. Symptoms, everybody's symptoms is different. Probably the, probably the same as mine's, probably different as mine's. Mine's was numbness, couldn't even feel my lip, uh, having trouble breathing, pain, etc. But everybody's is different. But in the end of the day, as long as you can identify the fact that you're having an anxiety attack, that's all that matters. But if you are experiencing severe anxiety attack to the point that you are unable to speak, communicate, hear, see, get help. I understand some of us, especially uh, those who really generally don't feel comfortable to talk about your mental issues, get help. It's okay to not be okay. And it's hard to ask for help because you're probably thinking, I don't want to make that person feel, you know, bad, or I don't like when people help me because I because I feel because I feel more bad or, etc. We all have our ugly moments, we all do. But it's better talking about shit like this to people. Or, or your family, or loved one, or significant others, or your psychiatrist. Talk to somebody about issues like this. Because if you don't talk about it, it's not, it's gonna get worse. 
especially those who are undiagnosed with anxiety, talk to somebody about it. But if you don't feel comfortable getting, you know, prescribed or anything, you can you always have the right to tell them, hey, I don't want to get prescribed. Me, I'm undiagnosed. Well, I did get diagnosed, but I when they offer me prescriptions and all that, I I, I didn't want the prescriptions. Like, I don't want to be, you know, someone that's on prescriptions just to count for anxiety. Like, no, I have different ways of <laughs> I have different ways of reducing my anxiety and don't worry it's legal but mind you yeah it's legal and outside of campus and outside of campus which is, this was before I came to campus I don't have it on campus but I have ways of reducing my anxiety but there's some people that you know take prescriptions and are grateful that it helped them there are some people that take prescriptions and they really generally don't like them but they realize they had to take it just so they can feel better and it's tough no matter what so having anxiety is tough regardless whether you're diagnosed or undiagnosed at the end of the day you're getting something that's helping you even if you don't like it but if you ever need some help reach out to somebody whether it's a family, friend, loved one, <clears throat> sorry, a hotline, or if you know it's going to get worse, call a suicidal hotline or a crisis center for mental health for mental issue for mental health people or people who are suffering mental health issues. I'm sorry, etc. At the end of the day, I don't even know y'all who are listening to this episode but I want to tell y'all that I love y'all and I want you guys to survive be good and be genuinely positive people cause despite the darkness that's coming out here there's always gonna be some light to shed that to shed on that darkness stay positive no matter what you go through if you're having a shitty day right now, smile. If you're having a great day, smile. If you're having the worst day of your fucking life, smile. At the end of the day, just remember, to- today, tomorrow, this week, next week, this month, this year, will be a good one. It'll be a good one for you and And I always say this, there's a saying that I always say, your bad day is someone's good day, or your good day could be someone's bad day. At the end of the day, there's 24 hours a day. If something bad happens to you in the first two or three hours, there's a whole day ahead of you. You got a, you got a whole day to get over what you're, to come over what you're going through. And you can choose to stay positive, like the choice is yours. But live the most out of your life. Like, live it. Live it up. The universe will be watching. But, overall, for those, again, if you are suffering mental health issues, please get some help. Talk to someone. Talk to anybody. Anyone that you feel comfortable with. You are not alone in the situation. I want you to know that. Again, if you're probably new and you're just listening to this and you don't know me, well, I'm going to say this one to you that some people really need to hear. I love you. I don't know you, but I love you. It's something that we all need to hear just so we can get through the night or get through the day. I love you, and y'all stay good. But, again, if you have issues, please talk to someone. And if you have anxiety, please talk to someone. At the end of the day, you are not alone. And just remember that you are loved, no matter what. Alrighty, guys. That's too, that, uh, that brings about it to... 
uh, the midnight hour money two times if you want to give me some suggestions or actually have a conversation with me my dms is open i'm here to talk to you again my instagram name is money two times underscore underscore i appreciate y'all i love y'all to us gang i'll see you soon on the next episode of the minute hour peace out